my intuition. Right. So I already made one of these heart embeds. Here is the mold that I used. Now I'm going to be using this mold. So I'm going to take this and put it up against it and measure it. And then cut it. And then place it in there. I want it to fit tightly so that it doesn't move when I put other soap in it. But it's a little bit too long. Okay, so when I put it in, it's not going all the, all the way to the bottom, and that's how I want it. I want it kind of in the middle. So then, I'm going to use what's left, and I'm going to cut little hearts that I'm going to use for the top. So now I'm going to get, this is Shea Butter Soap Base. And this is Goat Milk. So I'm going to cut these up and melt them. Okay, so now I'm going to pour about half of this into another container. I think I'm actually gonna go with this neon yellow Stardust Micas. It makes a really pretty like pastel yellow. Okay. So for fragrance, I'm gonna use this Nurture Soap Cherry Almond. This smells amazing and it's really popular too. It smells so good. All right, let me see what the temperature is. It's 150, so I am gonna wait a little bit for it to cool down. In the meantime, I am gonna add some color to the other soap that I portioned off but I don't know which color I want to use. I think I'm going to go with this magenta pigment from Brambleberry. That was going to happen.
spray it with my 99% alcohol. Okay, I have some clear soap cut up and so I'm gonna heat that up and come back. Okay, so I have my clear soap melted and I think I'm going to use uh, some of this rose gold color block from Brambleberry. It is just so gorgeous when it's in clear soap. I mean, any soap, but in particular, clear. You can see how gorgeous that is. And I'm going to spray my 99% alcohol. I also added some pop and pink mica to this other soap here. But I'm going to wait until this layer thickens a bit before I put the last layer in. <clears throat> Okay, so I've added my fragrance oil, and we're gonna add the last layer now. So I'm going to let that thicken up a little bit and then I'm going to put some of the hearts on top. But I want to make sure it's thick enough to hold them in place and not let them sink. Okay, let me test one. Alrighty. Oh no! Stand back up. And I'm going to put some iridescent glitter from Brambleberry on there. So I will come back when it is all finished and ready to be unmolded. So we are going to unmold it now. I already loosened up the sides a little bit, but I didn't peek, I promise. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my God! Oh, how freaking adorable is that? I was actually kind of worried that they were gonna be uneven, the hearts, but now that I see it, I think it looks cuter like that. Oh, all right, so let's cut into it. I got this new, Soap cutter, so let me get it situated here. I'm gonna go to a little more than an inch. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to turn it on the side though because of the hearts on top, which is usually how I like to cut a loaf when I have something on top, but we're just gonna have to go with this. 
Mm, that seems really small. Or let me go to like an inch and a half. Here is what it looks like on the inside. How cute is that? All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this heart embed spring summer time soap tutorial. I'll see you guys later, bye.